happening every year. Mm -hmm. uh, we've we've read probably over three million books, something like that, wow. with all of it. Yeah. Is that and right? Some. Yeah. Three million books. Mm -hmm. With all the kids that have taken part, we had this year probably over sixty thousand kids in uh, the Maryland area that have taken part. Is that right? Yeah, and that uh, includes all of Southern Maryland, um, mm. as well as Prince George's County, some of Montgomery, Howard, Queen Anne, Anne Arundel, as well as we got some schools from Baltimore County and mm. Washington, D.C. Is that so. right? Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic. Now, now, how do you qualify? A lot of people sitting out there say, hey, <laughs> I want to get involved. But the, the, the thing that I like about the program, it gets the total family involved because the reward means that the parents, the grandparents, everybody comes out to see their child uh, actually receive an award mm -hmm. for reading four books. Exactly. Tell us about how you qualify and what you have to do to qualify your child. Mm -hmm. And how do the teachers work along yeah, with this we, um, Okay. We do our programs directly through the schools. So in September is when I'm contacting a lot of the local schools, especially the reading specialists, trying to see if they want to sign their school up for this program. Mm. It's very easy. Um, we just ask that the students read four books or more for them to receive a free ticket. A lot of schools, they make it ten books. Some mm. schools um, make it five books but only home reading instead of school reading. So it's nice so that schools can change it so it fits and works with their school. Um, so if for any reason, some people out there, they never heard of this program or anything, if they just get in contact with their school, and their school could contact the Bay Sox, we would love to have them signed up. Mm -hmm. um, last year alone, we had about 220 schools. This year, we have 260 schools. 260 schools? So it's schools. growing wow. every year. Mm -hmm. And one nice thing that we're trying to put into place as well is not only the public schools, we're trying to get the private schools involved, mm -hmm. as well as home schools. Mm -hmm. there's home so schools too. Yeah, there's so many home schools out there that we're trying to reach out to them as well because mm -hmm. they work just as hard as anyone else. Mm -hmm. um, so if they read four books or more, we're going to mm -hmm. give them a ticket mm -hmm. to come out. Okay, now, how do you go about selecting the types of books and things? Who does that? Yeah, well, we, um, we leave it up to the students to choose the books they want to read. We do emphasize that we want them around their grade level and everything like that, their mm. reading ability. Um, but we mostly, because of all those schools, we can't personally check on every single one. Right. We, that's, that's what I was wondering, <laughs> you know, exactly. how do you That'd do Exactly. That would be a lot more work. Um, we leave it up to the teachers to mm. monitor the books. So um, all you teachers out there, here's an opportunity to exactly. get your youngsters involved. Well, uh, with the program. Yeah, we have like, we give teachers these posters mm -hmm. and the teachers on the bottom, there's spaces to write the child's name on the bottom and then there's four boxes right next to it. Mm -hmm. So teachers could check off next to the children's names mm -hmm. as they read their books. Mm -hmm. So we have something visual and pleasing for mm -hmm. the, the kids to keep right. tracking themselves and make it easy on the teachers. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, the reward uh, stems around the fact that the, the youngster uh, Generally, and we were supposed to have Edwana, and Edwana is going to comment on this later on uh, on other, another show mm -hmm. about she's a teacher herself, how effective the program is. And when a child gets involved with this reading program, everything improves. The arithmetic, everything, mm -hmm. because the extension, attention span it improves. Exactly. We emphasize that you need reading for everyday Everything. life. Everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. um, so it, even, you know, as you're moving up in school, the middle school to high school, once you go to college, I mean, reading is so, so basic. important. Right. And, and we emphasize that. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, we have gotten a lot of responses from teachers, which has been so nice. Mm -hmm. um, we've well, even tell us about some of the responses. Yeah. That, uh, just give us some examples of the rewards that uh, the program has brought to the uh, uh, area here. Sure. We, um, when we've been doing these skits going around to different schools, we've only been able to do about 20 or so this year. We're hoping to grow. Mm -hmm. um, but we've had teachers call us, um, where a teacher just recently from Chillum Elementary called me and said that one of her teacher counterparts at a local school at Lewisdale said mm. they had Louie come out, the kids loved it, told another teacher, she called us to have Louie out. 
So the word is spreading in that mm. educational community, mm. which is so good to see that yes. you know, teachers are seeing how successful this is. Mm. And we constantly get phone calls and thank you notes just saying that um, the incentive is so great. Right. Of course we know that children, they need incentive to do well. Right. Um, they need incentive for stuff as, as basic as reading, like mm -hmm. you were saying. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And that's what we're here to do. We're not here to get our name in the community so mm. everybody hears us and how great we are. Mm. We're here to help right. as much as right. possible. And I think it's a wonderful community-oriented uh, program because it, it not only improves the child's reading, it affects the family, period. Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, I, I noticed that uh, the last time out there, uh, that you had a full house and the fact that the NBA Playoffs was going on, but the men, the male, were out there mm -hmm. with their child, you know, for that, to make sure that their child, they had taken part in that reading program. <laughs> and I think that the children insist that mom and pop and grandmom, everybody mm -hmm. be there, you know, because they have made that reach the goal of the four books. Mm -hmm. that, and, and tell us uh, some of the things that, for instance, like they read that they uh, get involved in, that they tell uh, the peers about. I think that that's the pressure. And, and also what happens too, we were talking, is that although you have 60,000 or more that actually qualify for the program, you mm -hmm. have so many more that are exposed to the reading program that didn't make the four books they made maybe two books or three books, but what that gives them the incentive the next year to get involved and read four books so they can be recognized. Exactly. That's what's so nice. It's such a thrill to see the kids and the parents out here, and then they go back and tell their peers You're that right. maybe that didn't read the four books, how exactly. much fun it was, and yeah. then the following year, they'll try that much harder to read their books. Right. Um, and we don't want them to stop at four. We want them to go above and beyond mm -hmm, four. We mm -hmm. want them to experience how fun it is. And though we're giving them a ticket, the whole point mm -hmm. is to get them continuing get, to read. Yeah, and get them involved. Mm -hmm. but, but the program does two things. And I, I, I can't overemphasize the fact that it affects the family. Mm -hmm. Because the total, in all of the programs that I've seen out there, and the kids come out there, is that they always have the parents there. Mm -hmm. that, that, you know, there's so many things out there that uh, the parents don't like themselves, but it's good for the kids, so they take the kids <laughs> because it's good for the kids. Mm -hmm. But the parents are totally involved. Now, tell us uh, a little about the uh, parent involvement. How, how do they feel this program? Oh, the parents generally love it. Mm -hmm. We're, um, we do one thing where we stand at the front gates mm -hmm. after the game is over um, mm -hmm. and kind of say goodbye to people. Right. And I can't tell you the number of times parents have thanked me and said it's been such a great experience. The mm -hmm. nice thing about the Bay Sox is we know not everyone's a baseball fan, maybe mm -hmm. not everyone's an Orioles fan, but mm -hmm. the Bay Sox is nice because we're centered around families. Right. So we have a kid's park that has our carousel, our moon bounce, all those games mm -hmm. and stuff like that where kids can go and play over there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of just a nice getaway. So even if they don't like baseball, yeah, there's right. something to do. Mm -hmm. There's a parade on the field prior to the game for all those reading kids. So they get to go yeah, down I, I where the players that. And play. They, and what happens is when the different schools are announced, mm -hmm. they, uh, they well, cheer. Uh, yeah, well, 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 the parents, <laughs> yep. you, you would think they're at a game. You know? Exactly. When, when the, their school is uh, called out, Some, they yell <laughs> real loud. Some you schools know? bring out posters, posters and stuff right. that they make. So right, right. the parade beforehand thanking, is so much fun. Thanking the organizations for thanking the Bowie organization, the Bay Sox organization, for presenting the programs. And to me, it has to grow because mm -hmm. the fact that the the peer pressure of uh, individuals uh, going back, telling their friends, and and to me, the the reading is so important in ed mm. advancement in education. Because if you can't read, you you can't do arithmetic, you can't do any, you can't it's do true. calculus, you can't do any of the courses if you can't read. And so th this program is, is something I feel that the Bay Sox is really, really brought to 
uh, gorgeous Prince George's. 